driving into the Castle Rock campground and you can see all these interesting rock formations here. Let me zoom in on that. See that white rock there? It's kind of an interesting face. They have a ranger's interpretive site that uh, will give more detail about that, but that white rock strip goes for a few hundred feet back to the right. And uh, this actually zoomed. looks like some of it here too. Back to one, don't you got zoomed? No. This looks like it too. Let's uh, go wide angle on it. It's a pretty blue sky there too with it. like that uh, pocket there with the little plant growing in it. Like the Hawaiian ranger said, it's not good to stop underneath a cliff. Yeah, it's not good to <laughs> stop under a cliff. So we're going to continue on up the road here. This is actually quite a uh, pretty drive up in through rocks. here. Which ones? Look at that hillside. Oh yeah. holes in there. They're like columns, like, like stalactites. Caves? I don't know. Oh, cool. And, then and then there's some holes in the rocks over here. So this is really interesting. Just look at all the formations that they have. Mm -hmm. Like cones and really cool. And it quit raining. We're and it's cold. I'm going to turn up the heat. That's interesting. It's probably why they call it Castle Rock is because of those formations. Oh, see that rock right there in front of the big rock? Yeah, well, straight ahead, the white rock on the mountain there. Oh, but look at in the foreground. See how the mountains are? Yes. Yeah. There's like a separate structure there that looks like a castle. No, I'm just trying to figure out what this sign here said. Museum. What museum? There's a museum here. There is. Well, that's a. Back at the center. And that just is going to take you back up around mm -hmm. across to the state park side. Oh, is that what it is? I'm guessing without looking at it. Well, you'd have to cross the road. But yeah, that's kind of a steep road, but. It's just a trail. Well, was it for ATVs or for. So what do we got here? What does that say? No overnight camping. It's just an overflow parking only. Probably for people who are going to take their ATVs around. Okay, overflow. There's a water spout there, but I doubt it works. These are, look at the trees. They are so cool. Fee station ahead, use fee required. There's a white band stripe on the top of that. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, I see it up there. Fish Lake National Forest Castle Rock Campground, operated by Utah Division of Parks and Recreation. Nice <laughs> sign. Yeah, I like the sign. The uh, one on the left kind of reminds me of a uh, fork, which reminds me of dinner. <laughs> 10 miles an hour, uh, OHV use limited to trail access only. Now look at all these cool rock formations. Here. And we're here at the golden hour because look at those uh, colors from the sunshine. Five hours, ten to seven, which is good. So far, nobody's here. That's campsite one. Yeah, campsite one. So looks like an alien or something, or a. They're like Hopi yeah. Indian designs or something. Yeah. Like that. Well, this is. Turn right onto South Castle Rock Campground. Yeah. 
difference is they got some nice little campgrounds in here. Look at this. There's a the, uh, barbecue thing there. Is the feast station up farther? Um, I'm not sure. We'll find it. So yeah, they've got uh, all these uh, turnout campsites. Pull through. Pull through. There's a back in. And um, there's nobody here. Oh, I might see one person up there. There might be one person. Take your pet. Get in view of the rock. I don't think you're going to be able to see back north in case there's yeah, well, any activity, but we're pretty far south. Yeah, we do want uh, um, a spot where there's sunshine. And we don't want to get too close to other people. So it looks like a dumpster and a uh, fifth wheel here. Oh, look at that. Bathrooms. Like all the bathrooms. Yeah. There's the fee station. So that's got to be the camp host. Probably. site or maybe it was just that one side I don't know these are the ones that people have been able to reserve uh -huh. so we have to stay in the ones that are not reserved and, but we don't want to be stuck in the trees either double sign <laughs> but are they reserved for tonight that's the question ones are pretty much all taken and there is water there and it is running it's working yeah I don't think you were able to reserve the same night as the problem I think you had to be yeah. able to reserve two nights ahead yeah. available for tonight stop because that one isn't reserved until the 12th but they're all pretty much shaded in this area mm -hmm. Look, see, some of them have teepees already set up. Check this campsite out. It's available. You can stay in a place with a teepee. All right. Oh, but it's $35 a night. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, a... Built-in teepee, but that's a... $35 a night for your tent TP camping. Site. Yep. Sweet. And so here's another... Trail. Look at the rocks up there. Huh? That is so cool. Might have to stay two nights, huh? This might be a two-nighter here. No, you wouldn't be able to get in those anyway. It's a little narrow. Well, you might want one more that opens up to that space there. This is a 
the double site available for tonight. But us for double is only 20 bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's a forest. Well, it says state park, but I think we can use our discount here. Mm -hmm. That one's available. sure which one would we want to stand. But there's enough people here. Although it is late enough, I don't know how many more people are going to come through. There's a creek here. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the fee station, they might have a map so we can see what the ones are. <laughs> They're staying through the weekend. This is a 360 degree view of our campsite. Just had a bug fly right into my ear. Okay, so over here you see the Castle Rock, uh, the way that the water has flown down and shaped the rock for years and years and years. Long enough that you can see there that it had the uh, water going between. Over here, it's straight up and down, but over there, it's beginning to take the effect, effect of plate tectonics and lifting up and sloping. That white rock there is from a volcanic action about 18 million years ago. I forget what the name of the volcano is, but uh, it leaves a white streak layer in the rock formations around here. So there are some more rock formations. So the Castle Rock Campground here in Utah, it is just the neatest thing. Okay. Then we are thoroughly enjoying complete and total power independence here with our 675 watts of solar cranking in the power. Okay, so there you see one of the neighboring campsites. That's a back-in site, and that there is a back-in site. We are in a pull-through, and that next one there, that is also a pull-through site. But this one here, number six, is level. All right. There are just loads and loads of these little lizards around here. Very difficult to uh, keep on them, and as I get closer, he'll split a minute. What's the price of zooming in? Oh, there he goes. You don't know me that well. It's from Flip Wilson and Geraldine. You don't know me that well. I'm going to split here in just a second. There we go. So it's pretty cool. We're at the uh, turnaround of the campground here, the top of the loop. And got a nice little uh, forest stream. This is Fish Creek, I believe it's called. Got some uh, white bark birch trees here. And if you look over here, look at the scenery of the mountains. So darn cool. 
creek that runs through it is called Joe Lott Creek. Joe Lott Creek. Was one of the original settlers. Yeah. Very cool. Interesting how there are so many holes have formed into the rock face. Kelly thinks that looks like a cat. It does. I think it looks like a, uh, a Dilaphidopolis from uh, Jurassic Park, the uh, crested dinosaur that ate uh, flounder in the Jurassic Park movie. Those are its two ears. Yeah. Two ears and a body behind the cat. So it's missing part of its head. <laughs> yeah. No whiskers. Of a hill that could go up 23. Yeah. I asked the ranger. Here we are at site 25, a teepee site for $35 a night. Well, let's see what we got here. On the top of the teepee, we see that it is a uh, stick or a long branch frame. Nice heavy canvas, tied shut. Yeah, it's on a uh, carpet. No. Uh, the thing, it's um, indoor outdoor carpet. And then you got little logs over the. Uh, stream that you can sit on and rest your feet in the water. That would be nice. So, cool. Yep. Yep. With your fishing rod, trying to get dinner. Or a rabbit. Okay. Incidentally, this is your view from this TV site. I think they have two of them. So you can see that mountain behind and you can see the castle rocks over there. Yeah, I tell you, the more I find out about this castle rock, the more I like it. And here we go. A favorite, easy to make dessert. Strawberry shortcake. Yum, yum. And finally, to close out a nice day, a fire. Nice and warm. And we still have a little bit of daylight left here around us. I believe we have, you know, Archie is usually spying on us from the driver's window. But we have our last of the day view here. So it's been a pretty cool day today, just um, 
hiking around through the castle formations in the, uh, I guess it's a box canyon up there, the way we're at, Site 23. So very cool. If you can get up here, any of these campsites are highly desirable. And there is water here. Uh, there's the host station that does have a dump. There's no electricity. And actually, there is electricity, just not available to not even the host. It's only in the bathroom. So there goes another car coming up here. Okay, um, Kelly is making one last run up to the garbage uh, can. And we're just going to sit here and enjoy some fire. Do, do, do. All right, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video. I do hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we had a great time exploring the area around here, and I hope you got the same pleasure we did. All right. This is a map of the campground, and you can see uh, the different campsites in there. We were in one of the turnout uh, loops early on. This is the road into the campsite, and you can see rock formations all around there. Say 360 panorama, and there's a picture of the moon coming over the uh, horizon. And actually, it's up now, but there's a sunset. But this is the Castle Rock Campground, and it is just a beautiful place. So there's the guys, Poppy and Archie, are looking at us. They want to get out and um, enjoy the fire too, but I just don't think it's a good idea. There's Poppy Poo getting a little nap at the rear window. Such a cutie. Here's another 360 degree view from climbing out of the emergency escape hatch on top of the camper. And there is a another 360 panoramic view and there is a lizard on that rock cute little guy he didn't trust me though i don't think i look like a person that would eat a lizard but he wasn't taking any chances and here is uh, another picture of the road around the campground it's such a nice campground now this one right here number 11 i think it is um that is the host site and it has water and sewer okay and it's 25 bucks a night and who cannot turn down ice cream strawberry shortcake and fresh sliced strawberries mm -mm. so then it became time to just kick back and set up a fire and that is exactly what we did we had some firewood that we'd been toting around for a little while and finally had a chance to use it it had been so windy so often that uh, we just didn't want to chance burning wood in the wind with plants around. And you can see that um, we got some pretty good flame going there. But having the fireplace, uh, the fire ring there, gave us a good chance to use up all the wood for the rest of the trip. And uh, there's just something about looking into the campfire at night and having yourself a nice cold beer, in my case, a porter, a Black Butte porter, re -ricious. And so we're just going to kind of keep looking in there and listening to the sounds of the evening. So we've got a couple more campfire uh, pictures coming up, and then that will be the end of it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I do recommend this campground. You see the Castle Rock Campground, the Castle Rock Formation, and our campsite. Castle Rock Formations, Utah, off, I think it was I-70. And that is near the... Uh, uh, oh... Indian Museum, I forget, Jake Stowe Campground. So anyway, uh, there you go. We will see you on the next video. Poppy's pretty tired now turning the generator, so she is going to sign off.